Okay, so everyone, so this is example two. Okay, so for double integration method, so we can read this question first. So determine the slope and deflection at one meter and three meter from A for beams in the figure by using the double integration methods. So we can see that this is the beam we have simply supported, which is roller and pin support here. Okay, so you can see that this uniform distributed load 10 kN per meter is applied from C to B. So using the double integration method, here we need to cut twice. Here which is we need to cut at AC and then we need to cut at CB here before the support. So we need to cut AB and AC and then one we need to cut at here. Okay, so first we need to do the identification of the boundary condition which is based on the shape of the deflections so again you can see that at the support x is 0 y is 0 but theta is unknown because at the support for roller and pin the slope will be a value because here it will be a slope but then the y will be 0 okay so here also the same and then you can see that with x x equal to 2 y a C equal to YCB, which is at here. Here there is a slope, and then we can know that for this point, the slope from the equation YAC will be slope, it will be same with the slope from YCB. It will be the same value, and at x equal to two, the dy over dh, which is the theta, the theta AC will become same with the theta CB. So this theta will be the same, but then it is not the zero at point x number equal to 2 okay and then at x equal to 4 y c b equal to 0 which is the support here also okay so we will go first point after the calculation or after list the boundary conditions then step number two we need to calculate the support reactions because we need to get the value of a r a and also r b okay so the reaction at a v a we can see that the from the mom, uh, total moment B equation we can get a VA which is VF times 4 equal uh, minus 10 times 2 times 2 over 2 equal to zeros so VA you, you will get 5 kilonewtons okay 5 kilonewtons and then total FY equal to 0 so VA plus VV minus 10 times 2 you will get 0 so VB equal to 15 kilonewton so after this step okay then we will divide the beam into two parts which is part A to C okay we will cut okay so cut at that before the uniform distributor load so you will get 5 kN here and then it's the x distance toward the direction to the right and then this is the V and then this is the M okay so for section CB you will cut right before the support B so this is the 5 kN from the support A and the uniform distributed lot 10 kN per meter from C to B which is here is X minus 2 okay so we go to the part A to C first so we can see that total MAC equal to 0 moment here is 0 okay so total MAC equal to 0 this negative MAC here we assume is counter, uh, counterclockwise so negative MAC plus 5X equal to 0 5x because here this is clockwise so okay this is the direction we need to mark it so mac equal to 5x so we also know that M mac the m moment equation is also equal to d power ei d power of 2y over dx power of 2 so this equation is equal to 5x so we integrate it we will get ei dy over dx equal to 5x power of 2 you integrate 5x you get 5x power of 2 over 2 and then plus c1 okay and then you integrate it again you will get eiy equal to 5x3 over 6 plus c1x and then plus c2 so this is the first and second and third equations so after that we will generate the equation for section c to b so from here we can see that the total moment cb equal to zero at here so negative cb minus 10 times x minus 2 the distance times x minus 2 over 2 distance from here to the point here okay plus 5 times x 5 times x equal to zero so mcb you rearrange the equation mcb equal to 
5x minus 5 times x minus 2 power of 2. So MCV is also equal to the EI d power of 2y over dx equation. So you write down this into this equation, you get 5x minus 5 times x minus 2 power of 2. So what we have to do now, we need to integrate this equation into EUI dy over dx. So you integrate 5x, you get 5x power of 2 over 2. Okay, minus 5x minus 2 power of 3 plus 1, this one, and then bring it down, you get negative 5x power of 2, uh, minus 2 power of 3 over 3 plus C3. Now it's C3 because you already used C1 and C2 in previous question number 1, 2, 3. Okay, so you integrate this equation again, you will get EIY. So EIY equal to 5x power of 3 over 6 minus 5 times x minus 2 power 4 over 12 plus C3x plus C4. So this is equation number 4, equation number 5, equations number 6. So after you generate all these 6 equations, what you have to do is you need to get the value of C1, C2, C3 and C4 by applying the boundary conditions. Okay. So we need to apply the boundary conditions. Okay, so x equal to 0, y ac, we know at the support ac, uh, support a, x equal to 0, y ac equal to 0. Then we substitute into the equation number 3. Okay, equation number 3 is for the deflections. So we substitute the value into this equation, we can get 5 times x power of 3 over 6 plus c on x plus c2. So equal to ei, y, y equal to 0, equal to 5 times x, x equal to 0 power of 3 over 6 plus c1 times x equal to 0 plus c2 so 0 0 0 so you get c2 over a c equal equal to 0 after that at x equal to 2 dy over dx ac equal to dy over dx cb so same theta value okay this is from this so at x equal to 2 dy over dx ac equal to dy over dx cb because it's the same point, so the deflect, the theta is the same and then the y is the same for both equations. Okay. So you can substitute the value into it. Okay. So equation equal equation two equal to equation five. So five x power two over two plus c one equal to five x power two over two minus five x minus two power three over three plus c three. So you can see that this can cancel with this because it's the same. So C1 equal to negative 5, 2 minus 2 because x is 2, power of 3 over 3 plus C3. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay. So C1 equal to C3. So you get C2 equal to 0, C1 equal to C3. Okay. And then after that, you will get, you need to find at x equal to 0, yac equal to ycb. So this is mean the equation number equation number three equal to equation number six okay so 5x power of 3 over 6 plus c1x plus c2 equal to 5x3 power of 6 minus 5x minus 2 over 12 power 4 plus 2c3 and c4 so this can be cancelled with this and then c2 we from the previous calculation we get equal to zero and then x is equal to 2, so this 2 minus 2 will be 0. So you will get 2c1 equal to 2c3 plus c4. And then c4 equal to, you bring this to here, so 2c1 minus 2c3. So c1 equal to c3. So c4 equal to 0 from this calculation. Okay? So we now already get C2, C1 equal to, C2 equal to 0, C4 equal to 0, and C1 equal to C3. And then we have another deflection, we have another boundary condition which is X, X equal to 4 at the pin support, YCB equal to 0. So we can substitute it into the equation number 6. So equation number 6 is EIY equal to 5x power of 3 over 6 minus 5x power of 5, 5 times x minus 2 power of 4 over 12 plus C3x plus C4. So y equal to 0, 5 times 4 power of 3 over 6 minus 5 times 4 minus 2 power of 4 over 12 plus C3 times x plus 0. 
So we calculate this, we will get 53.33 minus 6.67 plus 4C3 equal to 0. Then we rearrange it, we will get C3 equal to negative 11.67. So C1 we know is also as equal to C3. So it's also equal to negative 11.64. Then from this calculation, we will get C1, C2, C3, C1, C2, C3, and C4, the values. So after this value obtained, we need to insert the value into equation 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we rewrite it again. Don't be lazy. We need to rewrite it again. Okay. So we rewrite the EI theta for AC segment. Okay, and EIY AC segment, then you will get 5x over 2, power, 5x power 2 over 2 minus 11.6, and 5x power 3 over 6 minus 11.67 times x plus 0. And then segment CB, EI theta equal to uh, 5x power 2 over 2 minus 5 times x minus 2 power 3 over 3 minus 11.67. And EIY equal to 5x power of 3 over 6 minus 5 times x minus 2 power 4 over 12 minus 11.67x. Okay, so after you obtain that four equations, then you can calculate the slope deflection at any point within the beam. But you need to be alert. If it's in the segment of AC, then you need to use the equation according to segment AC. If the location, if the loca if the location is at segment CB, then you need to use the equation for equation segment CB. So the slope and deflection according to uh, the question they want you to find at one meter from A and three meter from A. So from one meter from A, you need to use the equation segment AC. So you substitute the value of x equal to one meter equal to t EI theta AC equal to five times x power of two over two minus 11.68. Then you will get the value of theta AC equal to negative 9.18 over EI radius, a radians. Okay, and then EIY equal to 5 times 1 power of 3 over 6 minus 11.67 times 1. So you will get the value of Y equal to negative 10.84 over EI. So the here the value of EI is constant so you can remain like this. But in and other examples of other questions, if they provided the value of EI, then you need to calculate. Okay, and then the slope deflection at 3 meters from A, then we need to use the equation for segment CB. Then EI theta equal to 5 times x power of 2 over 2 minus 5 times x minus 2 power of 2 over 3 minus 11.67, sorry. Okay. So after you substitute the value of x equal to 3 into this, you will get theta equal to 9.15 over EI radians. And then EI y, you will get the value of y is equal to negative 12.93 over EI. So after you calculate all these steps, then you finally you finish the calculations. Okay, so thank you.